Why are you freaking out right now? <laughs> You're like, what's that refrigerator back there? I'm in my new house. You guys, it's, this is I think the longest that I have ever gone without vlogging or putting my vlogs up or anything. Um, but there is a reason, and I hope you'll forgive me because I've been getting some nasty emails from you going, what the hell, Kelly? Where's the ramble on -thon? I need something to help me fall asleep at night. I need something to tell me that the world is still insane. Kelly does not shut up. There you go. And here's my smart water. Product placement. <laughs> they didn't pay me to say that. Here's the thing. I'm in my new house. Um, but as you know, let's see. I think the last vlog I put up was before we went out to the CrossFit Games. So we left. I flew out to LA on Wednesday, July like 11th. It's like the 21st, so it's been almost 12 days or something. Anyway, today Thursday, today's Friday. Um, so we flew out there on Wednesday. I got there Wednesday, um, and we were there until I was there until Monday. I didn't get home until Monday night at about one in the morning. Went to bed at like two in the morning Monday night. Really, really long trip. Um, jam-packed. I'll have to talk about that later because I was, I have to tell you, I was so completely inspired by the CrossFit community. Um, whether you want to do CrossFit like balls to the wall full-time, that's all you do and you're you're working out and training at a box or if you just incorporate, you know, CrossFit style training, whatever, it is absolutely, I, words can't even describe the the sportsmanship and the community that I saw at these, at this event, I mean, it was literally like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna sound really dorky, I'm joking. We were at the games and you see people competing and you see, again, sportsmanship, the support. Um, there were just moments where people are competing and whoever's the last person, so that, think, of, think of it if you're in a race and you're the last person. In other races, you know, everybody stopped watching. Um, at the CrossFit Games, the last person, everybody else that's competing, like I'm getting chills sharing this. It's something that you, when you experience it, all the people that have essentially beat that person, right? So if there's six teams that are competing in one stretch, and then there's this last team or this last person who's left, and they still have to do their, their reps. Um, everybody else that has already, you know, beat them will come over and cheer them on, and then the announcer will walk around. I literally am getting chill sinks. It's, it's an amazing experience, the positivity. Um, the announcer will then go around and say, come on, you know, let's, and he tries to get the crowd riled up to get everybody clapping for that last person to encourage them to keep going. It's like nothing I've ever seen. And there were so many times when we were there during the games that I literally was like, I'm gonna sound cheesy. I was almost crying because it was so inspiring and you're just like, never seen that so I'll get back to that and I'll explain more of that later because I don't want to make this a 75 minute vlog which I'm sure some of you know that I could do um, but anyway we were out at the games I got home um, like I said Monday night didn't get to bed till 2 in the morning woke up the next day got a text from my realtor that we were finally closing on my house supposedly this week the 24th or the 27th so I'm like, wow, you know, I better go make sure I, I know which condo I'm moving to because I'd lost the original one. If you guys remember, the people that were buying my house had had extension after extension after extension to get their mortgage together. So this was like 90 days of me being all packed up and ready to go in my house and not being able to go because there were all these extensions. Every week it was a new extension, another extension for a week, 10 more days, another week. And it was like, am I ever going to move? And in the meantime, going absolutely crazy living at my house, right? So find out on Tuesday that we're closing that next week. Wednesday night, I go look for condos, find the one that I'm going to, actually the original one that I wanted was still available. We couldn't get a hold of the woman um, who was selling. And then, um, so I'm kind of panicking, like, do I put all my eggs in that basket? Do I get another one? Because I'm going to have to move very soon now. Um, I don't want to put all my stuff in storage and then move again. Um, and pay double and then on Wednesday I find out from my realtor that we're closing on Friday and then on Thursday at noon he tells me we're closing Friday at 9 a.m. oh and by the way the buyers are insisting that you be moved out of the house tonight by 9 a.m. tomorrow I'm like are you kidding me are you kidding me 
No, how in the world these people expected that anyone could find a, find a mover, hire a mover, that they'd be available in two hours notice and that you would after, we've given you 90 days to almost 120 days to freaking get your mortgage approved. Can you guys see that the stress levels were going like this? It was rather not pleasurable. So all that said, basically from the second I got home from the CrossFit games, I was packing like a crazy person, running around, getting details with my new place taken care of, getting movers, getting everything pulled together, calling Comcast, calling NICOR, calling ComEd, calling ADT security system, calling everything, getting my mail forwarded. All of that stuff that is normally done over a period of time as you prepare to move, I was doing that in like four hours. And then we moved on Saturday, on Sunday, um, and then the closing was moved to Monday at three. And I kid you not, I'm telling you, my heart was pounding the whole time we were in closing because I kept waiting for something to fall through and I'm like, someone's gonna come in here and tell me this isn't happening and I'm gonna have to move back into that house and I'm gonna kill myself if I have to move back in that house. But thank you God, forgive me if someone's gonna write to me and go, I can't believe you just said thank you God in your email or your video, whatever. Forgive me, I believe in God. Crazy. Um, so yeah, it's been a long, long, long two weeks. The CrossFit games were amazing. I'll tell you more about that later. But I think now you can see why. Um, didn't have the time to vlog, didn't have the uh, energy. Um, and I will tell you this, you guys. When we moved, I know when you're moving heavy boxes, do you guys ever say stuff out loud like when you're moving something heavy and you go, lift with your legs, just to remind yourself not to throw out your back or whatever. I still know, I worked so hard, I was sweating my butt off. So I didn't feel bad at all about not working out on Saturday and Sunday, but it got to be like Monday night. What is today? It's been a long week. Um, and I didn't even have phone and internet and anything set up until really Wednesday night. So it's been like every day getting a little better, but I'm so happy. Um, but when I went for my run, there's a trail right out back of my house. How freaking awesome is that? A trail that goes forever and ever. Um, and I went for my first run Tuesday night. I think it was Tuesday night. And I got back in. Let me just tell you something. Every single muscle in my entire body was hurting me, especially my back. Never in my whole life. I laid on the floor. Is that right? Laid or lie? I was laying on the floor, lying on the floor. I'm sure I've messed that up. And literally, it hurt me so much just to like get up. I've never had every single muscle in my entire body hurt like that. But I'm better now. So um, I did a, a mini circuit workout yesterday. I'm getting ready, obviously, to go for my run now. And um, I'm going to be doing, tweaking my workouts a little bit more with Val. I'm going to be um, hopefully joining my CrossFit gym to incorporate CrossFit next week. And a couple of you guys have asked me, and I was actually talking to Val about this last night. I'm not going to only do CrossFit. You know, and it, it doesn't mean that um, I just know myself and I know that um, what I like to do is a lot of different things and I like to be able to, I really like, like what I've been doing with Val is I do something for three weeks and then we change it and then we do something else and then we change it. And it's just, um, it works. It's it's keeping things fresh, it's, it's confusing my muscles um, and I like that. I like having the variety. So I absolutely was very inspired by the games. I've actually been, I cannot believe I'm saying this, I've actually been paleo in my diet, in my diet, since I've been back and I kid you not, not nearly as challenging at this point in my life as I thought. Um, I'm not running around going, oh my gosh, you know, when do I get to have my next piece of bread? I'm just not. It was, it was a very easy, and I'll get more into that in another vlog. Maybe I'll write down the, the subjects I need to catch up with you guys on. But I've been really pleasantly surprised. And here's what else I'm going to tell you. What else I'm going to tell you. I started doing paleo, um, you know, basically tweaking whatever it was that wasn't paleo, like Monday, the Monday that I left. Um, I, I can guarantee you, I haven't found my scale yet. I can see, and I've had four people mention it to me this week, like, wow, you're really losing weight. Wow, when Miranda was over here, and she's like, your ass is getting so small. And um, that's really a challenge, because baby's got back. Um, but um, I've really lost weight this week. 
um, and I feel great, and um, that's it. I really do. I feel like. I, no stomach aches, no um, headaches, no, I have, you know, a tremendous amount of energy. I can't believe I've actually had some black coffee, people. Black coffee. No sugar, no sweetener, no nothing. I put some coconut milk in it once and it was still like, the thing about putting coconut milk in and coffee, it doesn't even change the color, so you keep putting it in. And if you're thinking of it like cream, you're like, hello, and it doesn't change the color. And it really didn't change the taste enough for me that I'm like, why add it? I'd rather just have coconut milk milk with something else. So um, that said, I'm at 10 minutes. I'm going to shut up for today. Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, I am very just damn happy. I'm damn happy to be home. I cannot tell you how happy I am in my new house. So you're going to see this new kitchen background. I might switch it up and put my camera other places when I shoot my vlogs, but I am used to kind of doing it in the kitchen. And I'll give you guys a little house tour later. Um, but I have to go because I have calls. Uh, later and I have to go to my run. But you guys have a great day and I will see you soon.